How's it going guys? It's Frozy and I am back doing Seduce Me. Um, I just thought I'd mention in the beginning of this video, um, Hyper will no longer be doing this series. But fortunately, I have had been able to find my friend Josh Wolf to do Hello. it with me. Hello. Hello indeed. <clears throat> and he's probably more into it than Hyper was anyway. Aren't you? Yes, definitely. <laughs> Anyway, so we're gonna carry on. Um, I had to skip for everything for him so he knows what to do. He's watched the video so he knows what's going on. Yeah. So we're gonna carry on. Funny enough, something did happen. And it was certainly no laughing matter. Cold. It was really cold. The rain became heavier that afternoon, accompanied by rolling thunder now and then. The skies had turned dark, though I couldn't see any of it under the black umbrella. Not that I was looking up, in fact. Looking up was the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. I started at the grass beneath my feet, unable to look up at the people weeping around me. All I could see was the damp grass underneath my feet. Only the... What does that? Only the what? Monotone. Monotone, sorry. <laughs> Only the monotone alluges or whatever that floated through my ears reminded me that it was at a funeral. Oh, no. Oh, no. It was only when the speeches ended that I finally was able to raise my head. Harold Anderson. Is that a father or something? Uh, I don't know. But he's forever. I think it was Miss house. Anderson, wasn't it? She, the intercom yeah. said Miss Anderson. Okay. A small gathering of people, mostly made of relatives that I didn't even know were related to me, were huddled around a simple small grave. Yeah, so he is. For a while. All I heard was the sound of raindrops on umbrellas. If it weren't raining, everything would probably be in a heavy silence. I looked beside me where my father oh, okay, where my father was standing and holding up a large black umbrella for our small family of three. His face was emotionless, a strange sight next to my uh, weeping mother. I wondered what was going through her, his mind. After all, etched into the smooth grey tombstone before us was his father's name. Oh, oh. grandfather. Oh, diddens. <laughs> oh, yeah, my grandfather, the one who raised me like his own daughter, had passed away that day. The ceremony was small. Only close family were allowed to come. Slowly, though, people began to leave, leaving my father, mother and me behind at the grave. A man dressed in clean black suit under the uniform black umbrella of the funeral attends walked towards us introducing himself as grandfather's lawyer he pulled out a few document documents uh, documents from his suitcase and began to read aloud his contents and now I shall ah! read the hang on a minute my voice acting still on why is it doing that okay do you want to do this one yeah and now i shall read howald anderson's last will and testament when my parents died Okay, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can even yeah. okay. Only my parents and I were allowed to be present for my grandfather's will. It was under the strict request of his lawyer, and there was a reason why. Ah. And to my dearest granddaughter, I give my estate. All the furniture and decor that resides within the house should also be given to my granddaughter. What? I couldn't believe my ears. I had earned the family estate at 18. That was impossible. And yet it was written by my own grandfather's hand. You do, Mr. Anderson. He passed the family estate to her. Why am I not surprised? They're all the same when you're talking. I'm like, eh? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I think that's me, isn't it? Yeah. Dear. <laughs> Sorry. Well, he did say anything about. Well, did he say anything about what will become of the CEO and the chairman position of the Andersons Toys Company? Oh no! <laughs> it is presumed that the vice chairman will succeed the position. Okay. Even even to the bitter end, he wouldn't give in. What a stubborn old man! Shaking his head, my father turned to face my mother with a serious expression on his face. About the estate, should we send her there to get used to the building? It'll be a good place for her to live after high school. Are you sure we should? Sir, uh, why not? This would be a good experience for her. Honey, what do you think? 
It's the most manliest thing she's ever done. I really wasn't sure what to say. Why did my grandfather think that I was the appropriate heir to the mansion? Was I even ready to live on my own? That's me. Mm -hmm. Well, that seems to be it. We're taking our leave now. I'm sure the little heiress needs some time to adjust. David! Even though she raised her voice, my dad wordlessly began walking back to the car, disinter disinterested. Okay, okay. Don't mind him, honey. I think that your grandfather's passing really affected him. Why don't we go back home for now? Oh, okay. You can go on ahead to the car, Mum. I think I need some time alone with Grandpa. I just skipped a fucking line. I don't know what it said. <laughs> it says, oh, of course. Take all the time you need. Oh, of course. Take all the time you need. You can't... Uh, <laughs> you're not changing your voice like I am. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, she gave me a quick hug and hurried after my dad. I looked around the funeral grounds, which was completely empty, save for the sullen looks, bleh, 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 save for the sullen looking grave that was laid in front of me. I'm sure that if Grandpa were in charge of arranging all of this, it would have been much different. It was bl 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 blatantly. blatantly. Blatant, I don't know! Blatantly <laughs> obvious that my dad was in charge of the whole event. Who else would bury their own family the same day they pass away? Everyone knew my grandfather's love for toys, and yet the grave was a mere stone slab on the ground, void of any children toys. My dad didn't even bother putting out flowers. I just added the word there. His disdain for my grandfather was almost pitiful. Sorry, Grandpa. I tried to force out some words, but the only thing I came out was a choked sob. You told me to stay strong, but right now, I'm the farthest from it. Like that one time, a long time ago. Oh! Uh. Well! <laughs> yes, I Okay, this so is good. me. Okay. GRANDPA! <laughs> oh, it's so good to see you again, sweetie. I was swept into a giant bear hug, and we both laughed as we swung me as, uh, bleh, as he swung me around like an airplane. It was one of my favourite things about seeing my grandfather. The way he greeted me, unlike my father. My grandfather was loving and playful, even as I grew older. Uh -huh. Sorry that daddy couldn't be here today. He said that he wasn't feeling too good again. All the fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> It had always been like that. Dad missed every visit to Grandpa's house, kiting that he was busy with work or wasn't feeling well. Is that so? Well, that's okay. Daddy can come out next time. And you're here, right? So you changed your voice for that one? <laughs> yeah. I've learned. Mm, yeah. So what are we doing today, Grandpa? Mummy says that there's a new dessert cafe open in town. Maybe we could go. Oh, I would love to. But I've been so busy with the company these days. We're actually working on a little something. Would you like to see? <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh no! What has happened? <laughs> I don't think I want to see it. <laughs> yes! Oh, is that a toy? <laughs> It is. I was designing a new line of them, but I feel that something's missing. You don't think that you could help me out, could you? Of course! Stick a vibrator inside! <laughs> oh god! Look at his face! He's like, mm, yes, a vibrator! <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Okay. <laughs> he placed the toy in my hands. It, with a smile, and I inspected it carefully. It was beautifully crafted, <laughs> and obviously a lot of work was put into it. <laughs> there was one thing, though. So, what do you think? <laughs> I think the heart on it, its ch chair should light up when it when you hug it. It would be like it's alive, and I there, and it can be like a little night light before you sleep. So it's not our fucking vibrator. <laughs> he stroked his chin, considering. 
my input while nodding his head. After a few moments of silent deliberation, he turned to me with a chuckle. <laughs> That's a great idea. I'll get to changing it right away. You're always like my lovely, lucky little charm, dear. You always know what to add to make the per- To make the per- Perfect toy. There we go. <laughs> I said it. I didn't hear on my end. Uh. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I hope I can be like you one day, Grandpa. You want to make toys as well? Mm, well, making people happy is the best feeling in the world. I don't know if I want to make toys when I grow up, though. You just want to make toys for pleasure. <laughs> don't worry too much about it. You have plenty of time to decide. Besides, you should do what makes you happy as well. <laughs> oh god! Oh dear. Okay. That makes sense. Daddy doesn't think of it in the same way though. I wonder why. <laughs> Your father. I'm sure that he just wants to. Uh, I'm sure that he just wants the best for you. Yeah, a real penis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> Bitty, look at me. Oh god. Oh. He bent down to look at me eye to eye eye to eye level, that's like what says it in there. Eye level. With a serious look on his face. Uh oh. As much as your father may say something that doesn't make sense now, you must remember that he's always thinking about you. He loves you. There's no doubt about that. You need to and you need to love him just as equally. Oh no penis for you. I don't hate Daddy. I really do love him. I don't know why he's like this, though. Your father and I have had some difficulties with each other in the past, but it's nothing that you should be concerned about. I heard tip, tip, <laughs> tidbits of his from uh, blah, blah, of this from my mother and various other people. The only people who had stayed quiet were my father and grandfather. Both of them refrained from saying a word on the subject matter. But it was clear that whatever happened set up a wall between them. It's hard, though, trying to pretend as if nothing were wrong. However, no matter what, you have to stay strong. You're a big girl already, and, well, I'll come a day when it seems like you it's you against the world. But always remember that your family and friends will be here. With you. Daddy, Mommy, your friends at school, me, we'll stand together to get through it. Okay, I need to quickly turn up your volume on your thing. Hang on. I'm quite quiet, I don't know why. Okay, speak now. Hello. Okay, much better. Okay, yeah. how can you be so sure of that? Because we'll be right here. And here. What? He put- oh, okay. He pointed his finger to my head first, and then pointed at my chest. How buzzers? <laughs> so stay strong. Promise? For a moment, he looked almost sad, pleading, but as quickly as it had come, the expression disappeared from his face, and he was all smiles once again. Promise! Upon hearing that, Grandpa let out a great burst of laughter and stood up. Ho 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 ho! <laughs> Alright, you know that. How about I whip up some special homemade dessert? I know I can't accompany you at that new cafe, but but we sure can talk and eat while I cook and do some paperwork. How many does that? I race you to the kitchen. Hey, slow down there. I'm not what it used to be. <laughs> that sounded so fucking evil. 